So we're going to talk about the right approach. We're going to wrap this up. We've got a couple of minutes left. All right. Risk-based approach. So figure out first what your risks are. Where are your vulnerabilities? Maybe you have a fantastic training and awareness program. Maybe you have fantastic policies. Maybe your technical or your physical security is a little bit lacking. The point is to figure out where they are first. Don't base security on compliance. Because compliance doesn't mean that you're secure. It just means that somebody says that you're doing, that you've done something. All right? Find the risks. Find the vulnerabilities. All right? Uh, and then give your people the information that they need. Well, there's a lot of technology that can be used to uh, reduce a lot of risk, so that is very good as well. And then you have reduced downtime because you're, you're having fewer mistakes. So here's, like I said, here's the right approach. The right approach. You can't eliminate risk, though, especially by people. So our jigsaw puzzle analogy, we look at information security like a jigsaw puzzle, right? We've got our standard that we, we typically will use the ISO standard. That's our picture on the box. Most companies just have a dumped out mess of pieces, right? One piece might be security cameras, another piece might be an encrypted database, but you got all these mess of pieces. You don't really know how many of them really fit because they're just in a pile right now. So what we do is we you know, when we put together a puzzle, we put it together you know, on the outside first, the edges and the corner pieces. Those are the policies and procedures. That's your core rules that govern your program. You've got the standard on the box. You've got the program defined. Now you have the internal pieces, the things like the encrypted databases, the, you know, the so, so any of your controls that you have. Now you understand where they fit. You understand whether there are pieces that go in this puzzle, right? Because you have the program really well defined. All right, so you build, as I said, you got the edge and the corner pieces, and then you got the internal pieces. So most companies do this wrong. They want to build it from the inside out. They want to buy things, and then someday maybe they'll assess whether they bought the right things. But they buy an email filtering system, right? Because somebody told them that it was a good idea, or somebody told them that they had to. So now you have an email filtering system. Well. How are you going to configure it? Well, I don't know. We'll figure that out. Did you get the right one? Did you really need one? Well, if you started with, is there a risk? Then you know, is there a need? Then you know, what should it do to protect that or to, to handle that risk? And it all makes more sense. 